Is your smart analytics platform built for the future? SAP on Google Cloud is the digital transformation your retail business needs. Unlock insights faster, scale resources to meet demand, and leverage smart data and machine learning to make decisions in real time. This is Amy. She's a CIO of a major retailer with a global presence. She's had a lot on her mind over the past 12 months. The traditional consumer experience is becoming even more digital, and COVID-19 accelerated e-commerce growth by four to six years. Amy knows her customers expect a lot, from just-in-time deliveries and real-time inventories, to a seamless experience, whether online or in-store. All of those expectations need to be met by her business efficiently, while still offering competitive prices to their customers. Understanding data for advertising, e-commerce, inventory, supply chains, and customer loyalty is critical to an effective digital engagement strategy that can keep up with consumer behavior changes. The ability to analyze all these forms of data in a meaningful and scalable way has never been more critical to her business's performance. Last week, Amy received an email from her top merchant, Dante. Dante has noticed that the company is taking significant hits due to inefficiency in managing markdowns and a lack of visibility across sales. Amy knows it's time to take action with a digital transformation across the entire organization's value chain. She and Dante turn to the Google Cloud in order to get the most visibility out of their SAP data and ensure their smart analytics platform is built for the future. By migrating her SAP workloads to Google Cloud and leveraging the broad suite of Google's data warehousing and intelligent technologies, Amy will help her team capture data and break down silos. SAP on Google Cloud democratizes data with its integrated platform. It works with an existing infrastructure that relies on SAP to run ERP, logistics and procurement, while also incorporating non-SAP systems like CRM or point of sales. Merchants and category managers can find actionable insights and more detailed customer-centric information. This will help Amy's retail business make better evidence-based decisions to improve their bottom line. Now, with SAP on Google Cloud in place, Amy's day is a lot more relaxed. Easy visibility into her business's most essential metrics means she feels more in control of keeping up with the increasingly rapid consumer behavior changes. For her day-to-day, -day, Amy has access to dashboards through Looker, specifically configured to her CIO role. While setting them up, she was able to aggregate data from different sources and customize the way she wanted it displayed. From a security perspective, dashboards can be set up based on roles, so each user who is associated with one or more roles can only see the data that they are provisioned to see. Now she has real-time data at her fingertips to quickly answer questions related to budgeting and risk and make data-driven decisions on business performance. Amy also feels at ease knowing that she has an infrastructure in place that can scale flexibly to meet business demands. Best of all, Amy is confident she is giving her teams the tools they need to succeed. For retail merchant Dante, the Google Cloud and SAP partnership allows him to create and adapt sales plans confidently. He can organize large amounts of SAP data to predict local trends, prepare inventory, and optimize sales. Leveraging these data insights reveal a customer's lifetime value and purchasing patterns, enabling Dante to ultimately work out ways to minimize and mitigate product returns. Today is Monday. Dante wants to quickly check on overall retail sale trends for the company. First, he opens his analytics folder where he has specific data access and dashboard permissions. Dante notices some positive trends but is alarmed that gross margins and inventory turnover are declining. The forecast for the upcoming winter doesn't look great. He's familiar with the historical sales and wants to understand which specific categories could be heavily impacting the negative forecast. Dante goes ahead and filters the dashboard by fashion hoodies and sweatshirts to understand more about a product category that should be a sales driver in the upcoming season. The sales target is underperforming, but forecasts show an upwards trend. Dante can see there is a substantial variance in brand performance. He also notices that there is poor performance coming from the East Coast. 
And as he scrolls down, he notices Chicago, New York City, and Philadelphia are performing much worse than last year. Our analytics platform allows mass customization. If Dante has filter options at the store level, he can even get in touch with a specific store manager. Today, Dante is less concerned about the specific store and more so about the regional trends. He knows the business will have to handle the short-term problem of boosting this product category while still maintaining margins. Long-term, they will need to understand this seasonal trend to better forecast next year's supply and pre-buy. Before making any decision or contacting other teams, Dante decides to review the e-commerce sales trends. He goes back to his analytics folder and then dives into the real-time e-commerce sales. He's pleased with the sales and trends he sees. The business's online store is relatively new and compared to the last company Dante worked at, the amount of visibility he has into the website operations is impressive. He can see where the highest spending users are located with SAP transaction and geodata. AutoML, Google's machine learning model, discerns which social media platform users are coming from and other data like their gender. Web clicks reveal which brands users are interested in. And because Dante knows when conversion rates are highest, he knows when to leverage resources for targeted campaigns. Google powers all this technology. Dante can filter at the city level too and understand local online trends. All he has to do is click run after the filters have been created and a real-time query is executed. After browsing the filtered e-commerce sales dashboard, Dante notices two things. First, there is more online volume and conversion on the weekends. Second, the top brands correlate almost entirely with brands performing well in store. Dante can also drill into specific orders this year and see the detail behind SAP transactions on Google Cloud. Many BI tools may stop here but Dante can access a granular view of shipping and logistics data at the transactional level. This is where Apigee, our API management platform, provides tremendous value. Dante can pull order shipment status data through SAP, IBP, and Blue Yonder to get a 360 degree view of all logistics. He notices that some orders aren't processing as fast as usual. The majority of inventory is sitting for 10 to 40 days this is not ideal. Fashion hoodies and sweaters heavily weight the negative sales forecast for the upcoming winter. Retail sales and inventory turnover are low in the northeast, while e-commerce sales are picking up. Dante is more concerned about the long-term seasonal trends for next year, but there's clearly a short-term problem at hand for the category manager to handle. He decides to share his insights with his co-worker, category manager, Eileen. He selects the pre-filtered dashboards he just analyzed and sends them directly to Eileen's email. This is Eileen. She's a category manager who works with Amy and Dante. Her ultimate goal is to increase customers' lifetime value through techniques like affinity analysis. SAP on Google Cloud helps her do this by organizing data and offering very detailed customer views. She can use dashboards to drill down on customer segments and see who her top customers are. Eileen leverages insights from this data to know when to send out targeted campaigns and effectively improve business revenue. Eileen just received an email from Dante that says there might be a problem in the Northeast. Forecasted sales for hoodies and sweaters this winter are expected to be down. Can she boost sales for this category without negatively impacting margins? Dante's email also contains two pre-filtered dashboards, which is great because she doesn't need to navigate to find the same data that he is referencing. Both dashboards zero in on the fashion hoodies and sweaters category. The first shows a summary of Northeast in-store sales over the past seven days, and the second gives a 90-day overview of e-commerce sales in Philadelphia. Eileen opens the dashboard summarizing e-commerce sales she can immediately see the trends Dante has identified. Next, she navigates back to her folder to view the retail overview dashboard Dante shared. Eileen knew that her category was not meeting the forecasted targets through her dashboards, but now with Google, 
she can see additional insights. She decides to dive deeper into customer behavior and see if she can determine what is causing this negative trend. Perhaps she can find insights to support a promotion or bundle for the marketing team to consider before the winter season. All four customer segments seem to have positive trending sales versus last year, especially emerging millennials up 121% and one-off locals up 341%. Retaining emerging millennials seems to be a problem. Why are they no longer purchasing in-store in the Northeast? Eileen drills down into the segment for a better look. Eileen can check out the year-on-year -year performance in the customer segment deep dive dashboard. She notices that emerging millennials segments basket size is down 10%. Eileen can also see a list of customers within the segment who were loyal, but whose spend has declined over the past year. These are prime candidates to evaluate as their behavior might give clues as to what is causing the overall downward trend. Eileen looks at Alice Doris's profile to get an idea of emerging millennials' behavior. The customer dashboard for Alice is an SAP Active repository. The dashboard has data on Alice's loyalty, transaction history, and even social media and ad exposure. Eileen can see Alice's favorite categories, which individual items she has previously ordered, and the different channels she interacts with. Eileen notices that Alice orders tops and tees, shorts and activewear. Most of her brand exposure happens on Facebook and Google. Eileen can see that Alice's sentiment towards their brand is positive. This is based on a data set of customer reviews and social interactions labeled with emotions that AutoML automatically trains, optimizes and deploys as a visual model. This machine learning feature gives Eileen insight into Alice's Facebook posts, Twitter mentions, and product reviews. Eileen gets busy. She plans to spend the next hour digging into Alice's behavior so that she can provide some meaningful insights back to Dante and some recommendations to the marketing team. The infrastructure that Amy, Dante, and Eileen's business now has in place gives them the power to keep up with consumers. As a category manager, Eileen can use custom dashboards and drill downs for visibility into segments that impact revenue. As a merchant, Dante can locate positive and negative trends and keep an eye on forecasts so the business can make adjustments proactively. And as a CIO, Amy can make quicker decisions that will drive her business to perform even as a customer experience becomes more digital. Is your smart analytics platform built for the future? Unlock the potential of your SAP data with Google Cloud.